Andrew, how do you think the fight plays out? Who do you think wins? You already know, uh, Canelo, I'm gonna take it all day. Canelo, knockout. I hope Canelo loses, that's all I hope for. <laughs> Canelo by knockout. Canelo, decision. Canelo, first round knockout. Damn! Canelo, seventh round. Canelo! <laughs> the ginger man. Canelo. 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 Who do you, who do you got? Canelo, Who are you going for? Munguia, baby! The underdog story, bro. It's the best one. <laughs> Canelo Alvarez! Munguia. Munguia? What the? What? Damn! Canelo in the fourth. Canelo, knockout. Round nine. Canelo. Canelo, stay. Canelo. <laughs> so, Canelo by the ninth round. Canelo. Mike Tyson. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Canelo. 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 It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Da 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 The fight started, uh, they're walking out right now. Everybody did the canila, where you put in money and you draw a random number. If the thing ends on that round, then you win the money. So I have nine, Jack has 10. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I need a stoppage in this one, boys. Let's go. I need a stoppage. Round nine. Let's go. He's just eating that shit, man. Just eating those punches. Look at that. Ah, damn. Come on. God, this kid is fucking strong, man. 15 seconds. Come on. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Fuck! Ah, oh, there was no stoppage in round nine. That's right. It's all right. I just need a knockout now at this point. That was my fucking round. Damn it. Jack is round ten. So let's see if Jack can win it. And Jack, you're gonna split it with me, all right? Talking about? Did you? How much did you win? I don't know, but I won. It's what matters. And Canelo won. And Canelo. I won the show. All right, you guys. I'm here with Steven Blair. This man knows his way around the ring. This guy has been in the sport for many years. But before we get into the fight and what you thought about the fight, introduce yourself. Give a little bit of your backstory. How long you've been doing it, and uh, how you kind of got started. 
Our meet of results are starting new. I blame this all on him. <laughs> but I've been a uh, professional referee for over 30 years with the, uh, the WBC for over 20, with the state of Colorado over 30. I have over 650 fights as a referee and over 220 or 230 as a judge in 70 world title fights. Oh uh, yeah, man! You got you definitely have the accolades. You've been around. You, you know the sport. You've seen a lot. Now, seeing what you saw today, give us a little bit of what you thought about the fight. Well, I had to do remote scoring because he has keep practice with the WBC and send me a list of fights they want me to do. Uh -huh. um, so what I do is I score the fight round by round, and then at the end I'll come like the, the final score. My score was 117, 110. And yellow. Uh, some of the rounds were close, some of them were moderate, and there was a couple that were decisive, so uh, it was really a good fight. But a lot of people might have said Magia won more rounds than he did, but a lot of the punches that they were not, they got to land. He's throwing, but they got to land, and Canelo slipping and moving, then he's counter punching him with more power. So those little slip flip jabs, they don't mean anything when you get a really solid punch. And if you throw two or three of them, it just negates those little bitty backs. So that's what, you know, when you score a fight, it's by the round. Then you start the new round, and it starts from the first second of the first punch, wherever it lands. That was a hell of a fight. It was a lot closer than I think a lot of people thought it was going to be. Um, I definitely thought Canelo was going to go out and just um, outwork the dude because he had more experience. And being under those kind of lights, too, you know what I mean? The crowd cheering for the other guy, that plays with the, the boxer's head, you know what I mean? But he seemed like he came in pretty confident. He was he was uh, controlled. And he kind of just took each round by round. Yeah. Munguia was really a tough fighter. I give him a lot of credit. The only difference is you can see the experience that Canelo had. And after a while, Canelo just kept timing it. He would let him faint, come in, shoot over the top. And land in clean shots. And I mean, he was throwing some really hard shots. I was surprised that McGee stood in there and weathered the storm. Yeah, no kidding. Well, cool, man. Thank you for your insight. And uh, gives a little bit of uh, insight on what the judges are seeing, too, and what they're looking at. Because we saw the score, and then they call out the exact same score you have. You know what I mean? You're, you're basically giving us the inside scoop of what these officials are looking for, what they're seeing. You know what I mean? But, no, that's cool, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank <laughs> you. It was a great fight. Two right uppercuts by Canelo. Oh, Who are you going for? Like, Munguia, baby. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I'm going to put that part, though. I'm kidding. He's going to be the only one that says that. <laughs>